Joining me now on mining.com.au from Nine Mile Metals, we have two guests. We have Gary Lohman, Vice President of Exploration, and Patrick Cruikshank, CEO. Now, gentlemen, you have four projects at the illustrious Bathurst Mining Camp in New Brunswick. We'll start with what's been happening most recently. Gary, could you tell us about the results you have to hand? What are we just announcing now? We've been doing some drill hole preparation for the upcoming program. Uh, with some site visits and checking access for water and everything. And while we were on site at the sort of western portion of the property where we're going to be coloring the drill holes, we were we took some samples um, and ran them through our XRF lab and had nice consistently high copper copper values up to 18%. Uh, the samples um, are generally 10% plus. And in this area, there's a low grade lead zinc. Uh, this portion of the uh, project area is primarily copper rich. This will be the copper uh, rich portion of the lens. And we're going to be coloring two or three drill holes there to test uh, not only that, that copper lens, but the uh, project at depth. Um, there's always, there's uh, cross sections that show there's mineralization uh, down past 150 to 300 meters and we would like to test that and just validate that and following that we've uh prior to that we had uh, apex geophysics uh modeled um all the drill holes and incorporate that with the plate modeling done by earth ex and we'll be drilling uh six or seven of the maxwell plate models at the tribag and west wedge occurrences it sounds like you've got a lot done, despite the fire threats and water shortages. Yes, it's uh, we've had uh, all the data consolidated and 3D modeled by Apex Geoscience, which has helped a lot. And that way they can guide us through, sort of do the best targeting, incorporating all the geophysics and geochemistry and historic drill holes in the area. At the western portion of the wedge, um, in the area where we're going to be coloring our drill holes, we collected 19 samples at surface. And over half of these samples were better than 10% uh, copper, with seven of them uh, greater than 12%. And this is copper rich portion of the lens. And uh, we anticipate having a very favorable drill program. So now that you have more information and you're looking at the complexity of this VMS in different areas, can you tell us what's to come? Uh, well, this is, uh, as soon as we're organized here, we're gonna be commencing with the drill program, um, starting in the wedge area, as I mentioned, and then moving up to the tri-bag west wedge. And this is, uh, between it, we're dealing with about three kilometers of strike length. And this is along a trend that was identified uh, by Earth EX with the late time uh, electromagnetics. There's a, a nice cluster around the old wedge mine where we're moving to west of the wedge and then further northwest at the Tribag and West Wedge. So Gary, a lot happening at the wedge project, but Patrick, I know you mentioned that you're also looking towards doing more work at Nine Mile Brook. We are. Um, we've had the luxury since the camp has kind of been out of commission for a little while with the fires to revisit and, and have our friends at Apex Geophysics uh, revisit with uh, Nine Mile Brook. Um, we are going to have an update very shortly on our Nine Mile Brook bulk sample uh, that, we're, that we had uh, previously uh, gotten our press releases for and also our uh, environmental approvals, et cetera, and testing. So we will be having finally an update on the. It's been a it's been a process, like always, um, dealing with uh, smelters and and mills and and so on um, out of province. So we're finally going to have an update on that very very shortly. We're very happy to to bring that to our shareholders and our audience. Well, gentlemen, we're very happy that you came to us to give our audiences all of that yeah. news, and we look forward to getting you back on very soon as those results flow. Thank you for having us. Thank you.